Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our program brought to you by Madisonville Marine. Thanks to their great crew for making specialty shows like today, big shows like today possible. They've been bringing you the Sports Source for more than a decade now. I mean it when I say it. There is no better place to buy a boat. That's why they've been in business for nearly 50 years. Best boat dealer in the state of Tennessee, Madisonville Marine. Go find out for yourself why I say that and why so many people keep going back. I want to welcome in our next panelist. He's here to talk basketball, former uh, NCAA Division I basketball player, former staff member under Bruce Pearl and Conzo Martin. Mark Pankratz is right here. Uh, Mark, let's start with the off the field, then we'll get or off the court, and then we'll get it to the court. Uh, there were chants uh, at the Tennessee win over Mercer this week of fire Curry. Uh, Rick Barnes was asked about it after the game, and I think like any coach, he said, well, I, you know, it's not easy to hire a coach. I, def I protect, you know, I, I'm behind John Curry. Uh, it would be great if the fans would come here and cheer for us. Mm -hmm. There was an immediate backlash on social media, where else, uh, saying, well, you're just on welfare from the football program. You need to shut up and realize that the fans pay your salary, we'll do whatever we want. <laughs> How do you separate? All right, this is somebody that's not even, it's not even the sport that we're talking about. It's not even the football. If you're a coach over there and this stuff's swirling around and now you've had an AD change, how do you separate it? How much, I guess, does this leak into your business? I know you want to try and keep it out, but how much does this leak into your business? Because you know the players are talking about it. Mm -hmm. Everybody's talking about it. What impact does it have on a, on, a t on a basketball team or another squad over there? Well, I, I think you have to take social media for what it is at this point of just a mess and a racket that is. I, I think as a coach, you have to take, th there's, it takes time and energy because you do have to deal with the players. You got to answer the questions. You do have to answer questions with recruits and their parents. Um, so there's time and energy, but at the end of the day, it doesn't affect it too much because uh, Barnes was brought in here by a different AD, so that's different. Um, but. As he's a now in his third. He's in his third in three, three years. Um, but for these other programs, I think with all the football turmoil, it kind of lets the other sports take a back seat because if a coach does struggle, and luckily we're not having that with either Holly or Barnes, but right. say they did struggle this year, there were people that were going to be questioning their jobs. They don't have to worry about that now because all resources have to go into getting football right because the reality is this is a football school. Right. we got to get football right, and then everything else will follow lead. All right, let's talk about basketball because it is going right. Five and one, only loss still to top five Villanova. Uh, took out Mercer this week, this evening, six o'clock. They got Georgia Tech, a team that they whipped last year. What can fans expect, Tennessee versus Georgia Tech? Uh, we, and tell folks how Tech lost the yeah. other night to Grambling. It, um, it was an ugly to, to Grambling State, but, but they are, Georgia Tech's a really good defensive team. They're the 12th best defensive team in the country. The flip side of that, they're the 330th best offense team out of 347 teams. Yikes. Um, so they, they shoot the ball terribly, um, but they've got a big guy in Ben Lammers down below, 6'10", um, that was one of the top five shot blockers in the country last year, ACC Defensive Player of the Year. So it'll be a good test for Grant Williams and those guys. But I expect our ability to score off uh, creating points off turnovers. We're plus 80 in that category. I feel like that'll be the difference again today. Good deal. That's six o'clock tonight. And Tech uh, just lost. They're four and two. Tennessee five and one. Tech lost to Grambling State the other night. They were two guys going up for a rebound. They accidentally hit it into their own bucket. It was right at the end of the game, basically. So a girl on my on my kindergarten basketball team did that yesterday. Well, there and you go. So trouble, and and then you benched her forever because you're a wicked guy. No, right. no Gatorade after the game. No Gatorade. No, or you went, no orange slices. You threw a chair. You went full Bobby Knight. All right, Mark Pancras. Thank you very much. I look forward. Man, do I look forward to this coaching search being done. We can talk a little bit more basketball. So thank you for being here, buddy. All right, when we come back, we're going to reset the coaching board. Remember when we had 70 candidate potential candidates on the board? Now we're to the list that isn't even on the 70. Come on back, we'll talk about Les Miles and others who Philip Fulmer might chase. Come on back. <laughs> 